uh hello everyone welcome back in a more video and in this video i am going to give you the ultimate guidance on lead code how you can start using lead code frequently in terms of solving the problem how to pick the problem in terms of patterns and category wise how you solve the problem optimally how you use the lead code discussion forum optimally so that you can improve your problem solving in the logical thinking right and when you start or when you think to participate in the contest so that you, you can improve your real interview confidence in real interview simulations right so in this video you have a lot of thing to learn and this video purely depends on the hard code to improving the problem solving skills instead of memorizing uh, category wise the problems and those are the classical problem so if you want to improve your problem solving build the real confidence to perform a Uh, perfectly in the in real interview then this video for you and this video teach you how you can improve your uh, problem solving skills and start using lead code frequently in your daily life right so let's start a video without wasting a time so we have a uh, some prerequisite before starting a video uh, if you want to use lead code frequently then you must have a strong foundation on your coding fundamental you must have a strong knowledge about uh, data structure and algorithm patterns recognitions and those are uh, algorithmic implementation right at least you cover zero to graph all the topics all the 200 and 300 problem in every and each categories so that you have a basic knowledge about the algorithms and pattern this will help you to build the intuitions uh, build the logic while solving the problem while using the frequent lead code right if you if you already done these all things then this video for you you can start using lead code frequently if you not then you first complete this part then you can start using lead code otherwise when you start participating in the contest then you are not able to solve the single problem you are not able to build the basic brute force approach why because in a contest we have a random problem and it's required you have much knowledge about zero to graph in all kind of patterns and standard algorithmic approaches that's why it's mandatory to cover prerequisite then you can start using lead code frequently right now then now you can start a, our main course of the video let's start a video without wasting a time so how you can you start using lead code frequently so the first point is how to pick problem so we have a uh, uh three different thing uh, three different parameters how you can pick the problems the first one is like uh, start picking a problem based on the patterns and the categories right for example sliding window to some uh, two pointer array string linked list graph uh and all right the second parameter is uh, we have a difficulty level easy medium hard right now the third category is or you can say the third parameter is uh, company specific tags right so you are using three different category to filter out the problem for example if you are preparing for the fang and product based companies so you are just picking the problem kind of a two sum two pointer valid parenthesis right dfs bfs and uh recursion uh, sliding window uh, or uh, like a uh, uh, lot of things like we basically we have a different different categories and different different problem statement so that we can combine the all the things in terms of patterns categories easy medium hard and the company specific tag for example if you want to prepare kind of the mid range startup kind of company then you need to solve only easy medium problem in terms of rdfs bfs graph sliding window 2 pointer 3 pointer right kind of stuff right maximum windows binary search and all things so this is the first thing how you can pick the problem it's completely depends on you how you start uh, like uh, some students start with the easy to medium some students start with a category wise some students start with a company tax it depends on you how you can pick and how you can start it completely depends on you right now the second point how how to solve problem efficiently this is the most important thing after filter out the problem it's a very important how you start to approaching the random problem right this is not kind of a, a playlist or series to uh, memorize the 200 and 300 classical problem this is complete the random problem and your problem solving skills completely depends how you start approaching the problem right so first uh, step is understand the problem fully before start the coding read the problem statement line by line and try to understand the problem after start coding it's mandatory to understand the problem statement what the problem exists want right now the second point is uh, try to explain uh, 
your thought process on the paper what you what you understand from the problem and try to uh, verify your thought process your pseudo code your approach in terms of passing the test cases right try to e examples on the paper and try to think the edge cases and all like all the test cases pass or not it's completely depends your thought process your approach right now the third uh, point is break down uh, the problem in, in terms of the smaller you can say sub problems so that you have a clear picture what you exactly want to do at that particular problem right now the fourth point is focus on the pattern not memorization important point when you start solving the problem so focus the pattern like for example are you able to solve any kind of sliding window problem before uh, starting this problem do you have solve any kind of two two thumb three thumb problem maximum window and minimum window kind of problem try to link the problem with the previous pattern that you already solved not kind of memorize the solution memorize the pattern right now the last point is uh, revise or you can say review other solution after sol after uh, submit the solution or you can say after passing the all the test case try to review other solution this help you to uh, understand learn the best approaches for that particular problem and you have a two category to review the solution first try to review those solution that had that have a lot of uh, uh, votes maximum vote so that that particular solution teach you the best solution of that particular problem and try to watch those solution that have a least vote that particular solution teach you the worst solution of that particular problem so you need to understand worst solution to best solution it's definitely and it's really help you a lot to improve your problem solving skills and explore the wide range of different different solutions right for example if you're solving a two sum then you can understand why we are using the hash map why hash map approach works instead of just memorizing the things why two sum approach same as it is concept work in a three sum because we are using the hash map concept we are using the maximum and minimum kind of windows right so this way to uh, try to link the problem with patterns not kind of the memorizing the things right this is the second point that we are discuss how to solve problem efficiently right now the third point is when you start contest uh, when you, you when you start thinking you are ready to participate in the contest right this is again the important point if you are able to solve easy medium problem randomly or thoroughly if you solving the problem of the day POTD is daily on a lead code and 100 if you are able to solve out of 100 problem to 60 to 80 problem that comes under the category of easy to medium you are able to solve under the one hour or you can say within a one hour to easy or medium problem ra rapidly then you are ready to participate in the contest so what you can do you you are not just you you don't do kind of you just participate in the contest uh, directly what you can do you can start participating in the virtual contest we have a lot of virtual contest on the lead code just try to participate in the virtual contest solve two one two th contest daily uh, virtually and if you thoroughly if you qu quite confidently solve two problem in a virtual contest within a one hour now time to you are completely ready to participate in the live contest right then after that you can start participating in the weekly and bi-weekly contest this definitely this is the very important part of your problem solving this simulate your real confidence in terms of real interview because right now the entire the uh, interview process is going to be changed no one can ask you the classical problem and the pattern based problem everyone ask kind of a random problem and applicative derivative kind of problem so your problem solving skills really matters to approach this kind of new problem in terms of real interview and this only and only improve by when you participate in the contest when you when you start sitting under the pressure because in the contest when you start solving the problem the contest help you to think under the pressure to improve your speed and accuracy and find out the best approach and best solution within a time right participating regularly in the contest to improve your problem solving skills as well as rating it will definitely help you to solve the new problem confidently right so this is the third point now the fourth point is how to use lead code discussion optimally believe me lead code discussion is the gold mine of a problem solving and the approaches right and the algorithm as well lot of students are just using this uh, lead code discussion forum for the copy pasting the solution or you can say watching the solution or you can say like check this what is the perfect or the accurate solution of that particular problem but if you really want to grow in terms of problem solving in terms of algorithmic thinking then lead code discussion is a gold mine for you how you can start using optimally for example if you are solving any kind of dp problem 
right for example you are solving a, a subsequence of dp for example you are solving a, a, a kind of a dp on string or dp or dp on subsequences or dp on bits kind of thing right so might be your solution n log n might be your solution in o of n right so start finding those solution that take minimum time as compared to your solution in terms of space complexity in terms of time complexity and start understanding those solution why the particular candidate write this kind of solution and why the particular solution is better than for my as compared to better than my solution right exactly <clears throat> because it's definitely help you to understand those problem those solution that might be out of the box in your brain right aap uske bare mein kabhi soch hi nahi paaye aap us solution ke bare mein kabhi jaan hi nahi paaye this kind of if you start using the lead code discussion then it's completely boosts your thinking and break your barrier in terms of thinking the solution it's mandatory you can start using lead code discussion if you solve any kind of problem then try to watch try to read those 10 20 different solution in the discussion forum this 10 to 20 discussion uh, solution teach you a lots in terms of watching the videos and the solution wo 10 se 20 video aapko wo sikhayegi jo aapko koi tutorial mein nahi batayega you learn a lot of different approaches you learn a lot of different mathematical implementation mathematical logic logics and the analogy and this help you to grow in your mind in terms of thinking the approach and the solution right so this is our fourth point now last point is how many problems to solve or you can say how may how may how much number of problem required to become the good problem solver and kind kind of the quite confident in a real interview right so again this is a very subjective point this is a very uh, independent or you can say individual point it depends completely person to person uh some student might be uh, very strong in terms of thinking and uh, building the solution and kind of the mathematically might be strong as compared to you so some student have a really good confidence like gaining the good confidence in terms of solving a 200 and 300 problem some student might be take a 300 to 400 problem some student might be take a 500 to 600 problem some student might be take a 1000 to 1500 problems right so number of problem never defines how you are become a ready in terms of real problem solving skills and solving the problem quite confidently with a different different approaches it's completely depends when you are your brain ready to fight with a new problem it's might be ready with a 100 problem it's might be ready with a 200 problem it's might be ready in a with a kind of after solving a 2000 problem so the moral of the story of the specific fifth point is you need to just only focus on your progress improvement not instead of number counting the number of problems you are you need to solve the 2000 problem just completely go with the flow try to solve try to improve in terms of your problem solving skills in terms of your thinking instead of counting the number of problem right might be someone have a good problem solving skills and the particular candidate only solve the 200 and 300 problem right as compared to you but if you require to solve 500 to 800 problem then not issue you can solve and just try to improve your uh, problem solving skills just build your uh, muscle in terms of uh, mind muscle in terms of thinking the approaches and thinking the solution right so this is the five common point or you can say guideline for you if you follow these all the point uh, step by step in terms of your practicing the lead code then you can easily learn how you can start using the lead code frequently and this will definitely help you to improve your problem solving and uh, kind of build your the real confidence in terms of real interview right i already do the all this thing from the last couple of year i already like a crack a lot of interviews also help helping a student in the interview like solving the uh, assignment and all so if you follow these all thing then you can definitely see the result in terms of problem solving right so this is all about today video and milte hain kabhi aur kisi aur video mein tab tak ke liye keep learning and all the best